Ha! Ah, stuff to do that I don't normally do. So you did really good. Ah, easy for you to say. <sighs> Diabetics, please get your eyes checked. Well, good afternoon. I can't believe it's afternoon already. God, what a terrible vlogger I am. Anyway, today's kind of a weird day for me. Um, welcome back to the channel. Ha! Ah, stuff to do that I don't normally do. Well, kind of. So today started like any normal day, right? Um, first, take the dogs out at five. Second, drive Curie to work a little after six. Third, say goodbye to the dogs and I actually have to go to work. It's kind of like a normal work day, but um, yeah, it's just past noon and I'm home. So what gives? Well, like any diabetic, I need to get my diabetic eye exam. And we're supposed to get our eyes done every year. But, like the overwhelmingly vast majority of diabetics, it's a year-ish. Yeah, it's been about a year and a half for me, so it's time that I go. Hopefully, they'll let me film it, because it's kind of interesting for people that aren't aware of it, or if you're newly diagnosed with diabetes, you think it's something to be afraid of. I'll be honest, I hate, hate, hate getting my eyes dilated. I hate when people are messing around in there, looking around, but, at the end of the day, I would rather have a little bit of discomfort for 20 minutes, half an hour, and really like a little bit. I'm just a giant baby when it comes to my eyes. I would rather that than, you know, have a problem with my eyes and it go, you know, undiagnosed and untreated and then end up blind before I know if there's anything wrong. So hopefully I can bring the camera and I need to leave now or else I'm going to be very late, which again, yeah, totally unlike me. Okay, see you in a bit. Also, I need to get out of my scrubs. That's it. Easy for you to say. Whew. All right, not as bad as I thought, but we'll see how quickly those dilate. How easy my walk is home. So reading up close, can't do it. It says Sony on the back of my camera. I know that, but it's super blurry. But I know it says. Macy's out the window. That's easy to see. So far away, I can see very, very well. But close, like with this, I can't. I mean, I can. I know what it says. I can read it, but it's very blurry. I feel like I need reading glasses. Like whoa. Um, but it's funny because I can see the stuff far away easily. So be prepared for that if you ever have to get your eyes out like this. I don't know if they're super dilated, but probably they feel it. And it's been about 10 minutes, maybe less. All right, not the biggest room in the world, but that is where my chin is gonna live for the next uh, couple of minutes. What they do is they take this little thing, shine some light in it, look through, hopefully my eye doesn't look like this. A lot of stuff on here that I don't want my eye to look like. It's been almost 30 years with diabetes, so you know, with any luck, we're okay. And so it's many hours later, and as you can see, my eyes are still dilated. A little bit, anyway. But I can finally read without everything being super blurry. I can finally use my phone, I can finally use the camera, I can finally see things. Now, the problem is, with bright lights, I still get super bad halos, but that'll probably go away by later tonight, when it's dark out. But this visit got me thinking about a lot of things. One is what the doctors actually say to you and what they actually mean. When somebody says, 
you are ill or your ex is uncontrolled or your Y could be better managed. They don't do it, or at least they shouldn't do it, to judge you as a human being. They should do it to identify a problem and help you fix the problem. If your doctor makes you feel guilty for doing X or Y or not doing X or Y, maybe you need a new doctor. It's not the doctor's job to make you feel guilty. Now, maybe you respond very well to that. Maybe your doctor knows that and you know, great, that's different. But it's not the job of the doctor to tell you, you are bad at this, you need to fix it. It's your doctor's job to say, okay, here's our problem. Let us work together to fix our problem. I know that seems vague and it's strange, but you'll know it when you feel it. To my diabetic homies out there, please go get your eyes checked. There's a longitudinal study from Wisconsin that showed that in type one diabetes, after 20 years of having type one diabetes, I think 99-ish percent of diabetics had some form of eye disease. Now that can range from really, really bad to yeah, it barely exists, but anywhere in there, 99%, that's a big percent. So if you get ahead of it sooner, we can kind of work through things to get you the care you need and fix your A1C and make sure it doesn't get any worse. And if it needs to, make sure it gets fixed. Once it's too late for your eyes, it's kind of too late for your eyes. You only get the two, you gotta take care of them. We gotta take care of them. Naturally, walking home, I forgot my sunglasses because I didn't think it would be that bright outside. I was wrong. Every time I walked into the sun, I was like this because I couldn't allow any light through and of course my pupils couldn't constrict or my irises couldn't constrict. So yeah, that was a lot of fun. But I did walk right to the gym and managed to get an arm workout in. I was kind of tired all day, but I figured, you know what? I might as well go do it. It's not gonna kill me, probably. Inside the gym was okay. I just couldn't look at the really bright lights or else it would start to sting a little bit, but otherwise I was okay. But I think that's all I got for today. I'm gonna go eat dinner, watch some hockey and go to sleep. Maybe study some more. I probably should, we'll see. But takeaways for this video, one, if your doctor makes you feel guilty about doing something 